Hey, what's up, Tribe? Adam here with Warrior Tribe Tactical. Got another uh, pistol for you today. Today it is going to be the Springfield 1911 RO Elite Operator in 10 millimeter. Now, for you guys that like those 1911s, like I do, um, this might be something you're looking at. 10 millimeter. I've never shot that out of a, a, a 1911. I usually do nine or a 45, and I do like the 45 out of a 1911, but wanted to try this out so nice gun let's take it to the range and uh shoot it up come back and talk about it all right All right, tribe. So we got to go out to the range and shoot this little puppy, that Springfield 1911 RO Elite Operator in 10 millimeter. A lot of fun. I had a lot of fun out there shooting this guy. So let's go through it. What are the specs? So the weight on this guy is 41 ounces. So got a little heft to it. The length is 8.6 inches, and the height is 5.5 .5 inches tall. All right, and uh, <clears throat> you know the weight's not bad feels almost like uh, about the same weight as all my all my uh, 1911s and 45 you know so not much difference between that the feel of it if you're a 1911 shooter you uh, you won't feel any difference okay it's it's the same so the purpose of this is defense right against humans bears if you need to so if you're a hunter and you're out there in bear country maybe hog country uh, it's not a bad little bad little round to take out there with you okay so it's the uh, classic single action 1911 right um, but it comes with the 18.5 uh, pound GI style recoil system okay so it's gonna help you manage that recoil that's coming from that 10 millimeter alright so it's got a match grade barrel and the barrel is five inches long and it is uh, forged stainless steel with a 116 twist alright the slide, the slide is forged uh, carbon steel with black T. Okay, and I was reading self-lubricated, so neato Springfield, right? Um, and then the frame is forged carbon steel with black T, and as you can see, it comes with this accessory rail. So you throw a light on it. Uh, the guy I borrowed it from, from Poppy's Gonna Pawn, um, buddy of mine, he uh, has an O-light on it. I took it off just so I could shoot it, see how it feels without the light. But you can throw that light on there, and that O-light fit perfectly on this. So if you are if you already own one and you're in the market for a light, that O-light's not bad. Um, so it's got the accessory rail. If you look at the front, it's got these front serrations, rear serrations. Uh, not very aggressive, but good enough to get on that. So you can... You can manipulate that slide however you want. It does have ambidextrous safety, okay? So you got the ambi safe, right? And then if you look over here, it has a skeletonized hammer, you know, with some, with some, uh, uh, what's that called? Serrations in, in that hammer. So you get a good, good positive grip on that and you can uh, function that how you need. The grips, okay, so it comes with these G10 thin line grips, all right, and they're very nice. They're textured pretty good. If you look at the front of the grip, it, uh, it's smooth, and then the back you have some checkering, and then your grip safety. And then if you go up on it, you got that beaver tail, so that's going to help you get, get up good and tight into that gun, okay? Now, as far as the grip, also on this side, it has a thumb placement groove, okay? Now on that, I don't use it because uh, it would screw up my, my grip, 
but uh, you know, I like the thumb over thumb. So if I want to get high into that gun and then my support hand, I want it high on the frame as well. That would throw it off. I'd have to be underneath it. So I wasn't using that that groove there for the thumb. I go right over that safe, you know. So teach his own, right? But uh, so if you are a thumbs over thumb guy, you won't be using that, okay? Uh, let's see the sights. So the front sight is fiber optic, all right, and then the rear is the tactical rack with uh, two white dots, all right. So. Good sights, easy to pick up your target, easy to shoot through, all right? So, no problems there. Let's see what else we got. Uh, my thoughts on this gun. All right, so it was a good shooter. I really enjoyed shooting it. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with the 1911. They got good triggers on them. This is a good trigger. This one's a skeletonized trigger. And uh, they just got good pull, good break. Uh, really, zero. You know, just like most 1911s, very little slack in the front. It's not sloppy at all, just nice, nice little slack, good break. And then your reset is nice and quick. It's nice and quick. And it's very tactile, you'll feel it, okay? So, good overall gun, good smooth shooter. Uh, it was easy to handle. Uh, you know, me never shooting a 10 millimeter out of a 1911, uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a, a pleasant shoot, you know? I had a lot of fun with that. I wish I would have had more rounds to shoot, but we know the story there, you know, broken record, hard to find rounds. But I was lucky enough to score some at Poppy's Gonna Pond. So when I borrowed this, I got to get some of that and go go shoot this, this dandy here. Um, accuracy, uh, you know, it was good. As good as I am, right? So what I was aiming at, I, I hit. Of course, I had a couple misses in there, but for the most part, what I was aiming at, I could hit. So accurate gun, more accurate than I'm gonna be, right? And then reliability. I thought this was a reliable gun, okay? I had no feed issues, no malfunctions, nothing wrong uh, throughout throughout the shoot. And uh, you know, it was just a lot of fun. So if you're a 1911 guy, if you're a hunter and you're looking for a, a companion gun to that rifle that you're, you're hauling out there, Take a look at it. The Springfield is a nice gun, well built, sturdy, um, and a lot of fun to shoot. So, you know, it's the Springfield 1911 RO uh, Elite Operator in 10 millimeter. Nice companion gun for those, those hunters out there. All right, so wanted to bring this to you. Check it out, go put one in your hands. If you are gonna look at buying one, uh, they come with two eight round steel magazines. Okay, so they're gonna come with those, and you're looking at paying uh, about 11.45 new. Okay, so you know they're they're pricey, but you know it's a good gun. It's a quality gun. So 11.45 new is what you're looking at right now, and that's over the board. Um, I'm sure you can go find some for 900, a thousand, but uh, if you're looking online where I was looking, you know the the average is about 11.45. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. I hope it helped for you guys that are out there hunting or just some of you that want a big blaster to uh, protect your home and yourself. Um, remember, we provide purpose, direction, motivation. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate you, and we'll, we'll see you soon. Bye.